I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, I like your interior decorating. It really reflects your personality. I mean, I like it. I haven't even made my bed. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. We're playing some more Detroit. Uh, so, I'm like I said, I'm going to try and get back into recording again. So, we're going to go ahead and continue. Uh, where did we leave off? I can't remember. We did something. Oh, yeah. Oh man, that is low quality. <laughs> I just noticed a chair has two different colors. Be brief with Hank. Oh yeah, there's a uh, magazine over here. So is he gonna turn off the radio? Oh, hello Elijah. I recently uh, started playing Baldur's Gate, and I love his character as Starin. That's cool. Markets predict war. Oh, the stock exchange. Oh boy. That's not the right button. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> okay. Real quick, I'm just gonna make sure that I am recording. Okay, I am good. <laughs> Alright, back. Sorry. I didn't want to accidentally mess this up. Full moon tonight. I like this game. Nice view, huh? There. <laughs> I used to come here a lot before. I actually may not uh, do that. Never mind. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. I was gonna make that my uh, you could have serious thumbnail, but I didn't. Your health. That's the idea. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull Man, this episode is starting off. myself a little every day. Really sad. <laughs> That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Not very rational about it. I won't ask about Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models. Why is your coat having so much issues? In different places? Well, there must be some link. Uh, let's go ahead with number one. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls, they just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. I don't know if I should say that. It's just like straight people when they finally discovered that the LGBTQ is an actual group of they people. They simulate human emotions, <laughs> but they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but 
What are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Oh, God. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Ooh, hold on. I don't know. I mean, I want to say yes, obviously. But I'm I don't remember seeing option three and four. I mean he won't shoot me because I'm friends with him. I'm gonna go with three. You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. <laughs> Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. Doesn't getting drunk usually do the absolute opposite of thinking? <laughs> I mean, let me be honest here. I mean, last time I got drunk, I got so alone and I. <laughs> I was just sad. I didn't think at all. Everything was gone. Nothing in my head. I used to get so confused with the constant welcome to Android parking, and now I realize that's a story thing. <laughs> I like. I didn't realize it's that focus. Oh, hey, yeah, androids need to be parked somewhere. They can't be just sitting down on a bench. We can't they can't stay do silent that. Anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. I love That's Josh with that. <laughs> what do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Uh, Marcus in a suit. He looks so nice. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Yeah, I know. I just want to look around a little bit. So, yeah. Alright, sorry. I got too close to the door. I just wanted to look. I'm watching the game. Ooh, these are pretty flowers. Sorry, I just want to look around. Oh, 
Floor 79 feeds all public screens in Detroit. It's a thousand square foot screen. That's cool. This whole, like, holographic thing is awesome. I wonder how people are able to build stuff like that. Oh, there it is. I need this real quick. Uh, Century Magazine. Can I? No, I can't. I can't touch it. Oh, there's a demon person. Hello. Oh, analyze. What's your name? Elizabeth Wolfen. I almost called you Olson. It's like, you are not her. But, you know, still. Emily. Get your parking badge. And do you do water service. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh, okay. This is Safe Road School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Um, I'll be right there. That's cool. How they just have, like, watches that you can speak into. I think that that's nice. I don't know why I had to demonstrate that, but I did. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? This android is pretty. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I'm curious as to how she didn't recognize him as I an need android. Your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Like, how did she not recognize Marcus as an android? Oh. That's cool. Oh. Oh, at first I thought I saw Captain America on there. Oh. Man, that's weird. Can you imagine if this is what, like, news channel rooms look like later in the future? Like, you don't have anybody manning a camera or a mic or anything like that. You just have just one person in a room saying their lines. Hello. Oh, is that a hand dryer? What was that? What did that say? Oh yeah, that is a hand dryer. I like this chapter. I shall grab this box and it shall be mine. My light feels dimmer.
It's weird how the cameras would have never seen Marcus enter or leave the room. Oh yeah, I need to get this guy real quick. Hello. I need your help. Odd stocks. Hold on, what? Analyzing? How? Can I get closer to this? Tigers. Alright, that's just the. These two are just the same. There's three. Oh, at first I thought they were gonna have something funny on there. No. They don't know what funny is. Oh, wait, now the fire escape is this way. was mean. How dare you, little robot? <laughs> there was no other way I could have done that. thought she fixed her cap. Man, she does not shit. We need to access walk like a machine. Room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. She walks a lot with her shoulders. Hello, I will take this. You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Ooh, Zancarell is now playing War and Thunder. Or War Thunder, sorry. That is how you say your name, right? <laughs> Sorry, I've never known how to do so. I don't speak very often, hence why I'm so quiet. W to jump. Sorry. <laughs> Man, every single time I listen to this music, I always think of Spider-Man. Like, I can just see him diving off of the Empire State Building every single time. Maybe it's a do-do-do-do-do-do sound. Oh, 
called the, uh, that's not an octagon. I was gonna say pentagons, but then I can't remember what those are. And I don't think those were pentagons. I'm pretty sure they were hexagons. <laughs> Gotta get your squats in. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Sorry. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Oh man, there's a clip of her just falling down, and I think it's the best thing ever. Let's do this. I've been waiting a long time just to place this on a door. I have to stand back because oh no, that's such a loud boom. Caused so much damage. Uh we are going for the best ending. So, we're not going to kill anybody here. Simon is going to get shot, and that's fine, because Connor isn't going to go to him. No killing. We can't take any human lives. The cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Uh, Reeves. Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? What are you doing? Oh, young camera. Oh, I pressed Q instead of A. <laughs> Man, if that was a... If that was gonna be a QTE, I would have failed miserably. Hold on, really quick. I just. I'm trying to play this out in my head to make sure that Simon doesn't get killed here. Because I know he eventually might, and I don't want that to happen. Keep your hands where I can see them! Get up! Move! Record our message. We haven't got much time. Stand in front of Josh. I'm in front of Josh. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I try very hard to keep this appearance up. Tell me when you're ready. Uh, I will never be ready. It's weird how his eyelashes also disappear. Man, you wanna know what else? Wait, hold on. I wonder what uh, these numbers on the side of his face, uh, on his left eye. 
He's got the two triangles, and then he's got like a five seven four three dash five four eight six seven nine 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 number. And then I also, man, I wonder if I could scan the barcode on his head. I almost want to try that. I think I'm going to. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Let me open up my thing here. I just want to scan it and see what happens. Cool. Uh, scan. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Never mind. Alright, never mind. I'll do that later. Ready. Josh is so handsome. He's a good boy. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. He's shiny. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Not as shiny as in the uh, 4K trailer. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species, and each android as a person in their own right. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I wonder how long. They're uh, coming. Let's go. Elijah Kamsky took that. Run! Simon, don't die! Simon, Simon you idiot! Simon, they're coming! I, I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! Hey! What are you doing? Hurry! I'm saving my husband. <laughs> I can't move my legs. Oh no, I just realized. Okay, don't worry. The get you back. chest area where They're he coming, has Marcus. his... We have to jump now. Oh, no. You won't be able to make the jump. <laughs> I didn't realize Find that. Them. They'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I won't kill one of our own. North, you can Simon, stop. We gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. I really wish you could have dated Simon. <laughs> I really wish. Run! We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have 
serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. What could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids is in this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict? accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, Have you seen the very human guy the with this? <laughs> It is one of those uh, burping baby videos, and it's just slapping the baby on the back, and it starts spewing milk everywhere. It's like, is this a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? <laughs> it's so good. I gotta find that clip. Ah, uh, it was great. Hello, Connor. You have very brown eyes. I'm gonna touch the thing. I love this place so much. I think I said that in the last episode. Hi, Amanda. Okay, well that was a little bit of a jump in animation. I wonder... No, never mind. I was gonna say I wonder if uh, androids can build their own mind palace, and then I realized it's probably not something that they can do, since it's just something that comes, like, preloaded in their program. Hello, Connor. Hi. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. I'm looking at the plants. I like your uh, umbrella. I think that's cute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'll just put these back. And I'll just stare at them for a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to cruise, Amanda. <laughs> Man, he looks stupid. <laughs> Pull off that water. Place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. Or maybe you should let them. You seem... lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Why is your earring backwards? I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? Too far. No use. Ah, uh, three. I don't know. I don't know. You got some long eyebrow hairs. <laughs> Sorry, I just like to look at if certain things on people. Your investigation doesn't make progress just... soon. <laughs> I may have to replace you, Connor. I understand. My poor boy. Something's happening. The sky. Something serious. It's about to rain. Hurry. <laughs> 
time is running out. Oh no. You're starting to piss me off with that <laughs> coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Sorry, Dad. Yeah. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. I wonder. So what do we got? Do we... do I have the, uh... Ambulance. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. You check the roof. I can't remember if this is the There's one. So much to look at. But Chris mentions them as people. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Because he sees them as people at one point, and he's got to be corrected. I can't remember if Hank corrects them or if it was somebody else. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. I can't remember. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The How? deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. I got that. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the deviants, it's on that screen over there. Standing in the background. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. I think Lieutenant I did it Anderson wrong. is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Investigation, you should be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Watch your step. <laughs> Don't fuck up my crazy. <laughs> what a fucking that was... prick. All right, so I'll I had this. If you need anything, just ask. I had this thought in my head. All right, well, let's have a look around. I mean, no... <laughs> pretty sure Perkins's nose probably bigger than his dick. And I was gonna say the only way he can pleasure a woman is. <laughs> Sorry. Fine, uh, okay, Lieutenant. Okay, that was it. <laughs> we ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. That's and now the time has come all. for you to give us freedom. Think that's RA9? Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Okay. People reflection. Oh my goodness. That is totally exactly where all of them were, and 100% one of them was wearing a hoodie. Blue virus, spare part, woohoo. Cheek. I don't know. Oh. Model identification. Ah, okay. I was wondering about that. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Connor's lying. He's just quivering. Oh no. <gasps> 
remember Marcus, not Marcus, sorry, Brian had said something about that when he was streaming, and he mentioned, that's my brother? And so every single time, it's why I can't ship these two together. It's why I see them as brothers now, because it makes sense. Besides, I think he has more of a relationship with blood. something over here as well. Oh, the bolt holes. Ah, I got something in my eye and it's blinded me. I did that wrong. There we are. Now I have access to this. Can I talk to you? Can I just stare at you and see what happens? Hello. You have a weird coat. What is that design? Your finger is clipping. Hi, Hank. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Because it, it was an android unit. Oh no. Hello. Connor? Hi. You remember me? Yes. Hello. I was on that terrace. That android that took the little girl hostage? I was shot? It's like, I have to you pull up me. a lot of information just for you to recognize my you. face. I could have died on that terrace. In my life. He's got a really soft face. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this to an android. But thank you. I just recognized his last name is Wilson. I wonder if he's married to uh, Elizabeth and has a daughter named Emily. I guess because this is, I wonder if he would have had to go here because, oh yeah, my wife works here. I should be on this mission just to make sure she's okay. Like that happens. I wonder if that was his wife. <laughs> There's a table in my way. I can't walk. Blood. Probably need to change the way we eat. Let's be honest. My knife! I like how this knife is just clearly sitting out. Oh my goodness, six dollars and fifty cents for candy. Eight dollars and fifty. 
50 cents for a chocolate chunk. Yet again. Sucks. Man, I'm glad we don't live in that future yet. <laughs> I think I don't know how California is. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. I saw that, Connor. What did you just do with your head? State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Hi. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. I'm going to find out which it is. I already see you looking at me. <laughs> Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Yeah, he moves a little bit more than the other two. Like, he kind of waddles a little bit. going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Why are you doing that with your eyebrows? He does a lot of things with his eyebrows. <laughs> the deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. I know everything. I accidentally pressed W. Ow. Hank! Hank! I need help. Ow. My poor boy. Get your heart back inside of your body. <laughs> He's 
got a very soft chest. Nice shot. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I wanted it alive. You saved human lives. You saved my life. You're welcome, Dad. <laughs> Okay, so I can't remember how long the next chapter is. Oh, it's the one with, uh, yeah, Rose. That's a nice looking sign. Hello. I'm here now. I walk alone for some reason. I have pretty eyes. Oh, I can't walk in the snow. Hello. Why? Oh no! How dare you have a corner window? Hello. Hi. I'm looking for Rose. Is she <clears throat> here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? I... I have a white hand. And a family. Come on. It's better if we talk inside. He, like, sighs in disappointment. She can already see it. <laughs> He's already angry with it. Do you think we can trust them? No! Sorry. You don't have I, I can trust them. I just... Looking at these windows! Why? Why do you have windows like that? Can I walk forward, please? Why do Come you have on. a lock on the outside of your door? That's that's backwards. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? I like Rose. She's nice. But I'm still confused on why her door locks are backwards. That's just the easiest way for robbers to come in. Wait a second. Dog! The aerodynamics of dog. That is a dog, right? That looks like a dog. Right? Like a winter dog? Looks like a dog out in the rain? I really hope that this isn't... Subwoofer? Oh, it's a hippo! Oh! <laughs> I just now realized what it was. I see I see the hippo now. I thought it was a dog with a funny looking hat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just a little... Uh, just a little stupid. There's a globe up there. Right. 
Sit down. Good small child. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that one. That's a joke that's gonna stay with me. <laughs> Pretty eyelashes. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Well, I don't think I've Maybe seen they're this one. unhappy. And they just need someone else to blame. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. That one's more for today's. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. That is something that should I'll get be talked these about. washed and dried. <clears throat> yes, good night. Sleep tight, Alice. Mommy loves you. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Yay, I'm close to Luther. I love you, Luther. Become her husband. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. Aww. I'll stay with her a while. Aww. Dad. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I like the wholesomeness. Real quick, can I come in here? Yeah, I can see more now. Yeah, I, I definitely see the hippo more. <laughs> I still can't believe I saw that as a dog. <laughs> Hello. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. Man, she looks a lot like Jennifer Lawrence in this light. Maybe it's her so cheekbones. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. Doesn't she look like Jennifer Lawrence? I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. Humble. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. Mm -hmm. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's, it's probably fine. safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. 
please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Oh, boy. What's happening? What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Oh no. There's death? Wow, I never would have thought that that happened. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Sorry. Let's let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. <sighs> we'll let her see what's happening. Children need to understand the fear of death. <laughs> Come on, Alice. At least he's doing a little better. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Carol? Yes. I'm fine. Yes. I'm fine. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> we can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. Adam. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Sad boy. Sad boy times. Oh man, I don't like being here part of this conversation. <laughs> Hello. So about that. <laughs> don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. Oh no, I don't have any more coffee. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> You've got two sinks. <laughs> But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Does one do hot water and the other do cold? this real quick. World War Three. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Now the number one home the number one android for home assistance. Yeah I'm on sale now. Oh wrong button again, sorry. Hello. You know what happened back there, don't you? 
You know that you don't want to tell me? Okay, fine. Talk to Adam, but can I talk to Luther instead? Hi, Luther. I hope Rose gets back soon. Carol, she just left. There's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. You know, she's right there. <laughs> I, if you're gonna talk about somebody behind their back and or like they're not even there, do it in a place where they won't hear you. I know you think we're just machines, but since I met Alice, I know I can feel things. I care for her. I fear for her. You I love can't her be happy if she's not because you want to be her mom. This probably doesn't make any sense to you, but I know she changed me somehow. Alice is R.I. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Police! It's the police! <laughs> oh no! What are we gonna do? Uh, they know we're here. We have to open the door. Uh, shut up, you small child. Hey, I knew this was gonna happen. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. I knew it. Uh, upstairs. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. Okay, we got 48 seconds left. Let's hide evidence. I know, just shut up. Sure. Just keep calm, Adam, and everything will be all right. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've well, had reports, reports of, of androids in the, in the area. area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure. Uh, uh... <laughs> Uh, come in? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? Uh, no. No, no nothing in particular. Hold on. Do I have evidence back here that I need to... <gasps> oh, yeah. I forgot I need... Is anyone else in the house? Uh, Alice, there's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. I forgot about the deviants in the, uh... Place there. Do you have any androids here? No. No, there are no androids here. Hello, excuse me. Yeah, can I close this door, please? Can I close it? Hey, can I close this? Hide, hide androids. Don't arouse suspicion. Oh no. Oh no. Thanks. Oh no. Oh no. Night. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I didn't go. I can't do it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. What 
What's your name, son? Uh, Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids... The... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. 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 I, I haven't seen anything. No. No, I haven't seen anything. It just stares directly at her. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Didn't even finish it. Is somebody else in the house? No. Not oh, washing machine. It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Okay, so the policeman left, and he was fooled, and he questioned the child, and I have done all that. I didn't hide something here. I, I don't know what I did. Oh! I think it was the uh, other thing. There was one thing that I didn't do. I wonder what that was. Adam returns. Lower tension. Let Alice see Mary. Huh. Alright, well, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Not that many people watch anyways. Uh, have a nice day, and good night.